Huh. That was weird. Walking into a place and then finding someone to recruit. All right, Sarah. Let's get down to business. Miley, thanks goodness you're here. Hmm? What's the matter? There's a pale, scary person in black lying at the front entrance. All in black? All in black? Don't tell me. It's death. She's like hoping. She's like, please be death. Please be death. Please be death. This would be the raddest thing ever. Should never have taken that notebook. Death note. Excellent. What should we do? No one wants to go near it. It's really scary. D don't, don't worry. Leave it to me. I hear that even death can die of laughter. If you say so. Miley to the rescue! What? No reply. Is she dead? The sketchy girl! Hmm? Yo, girl. You finally showed up. Hey, it's you. What are you doing here, Cindy? Not much. Wonder if you had any food. Haven't eaten since yesterday. Ugh, oh, gonna faint. Dina, feed this lady! <laughs> Yikes. Fainting from not eating in a while. What do you think this is, a comic book? No, it's a video game! Is this friend of yours, Miley? If it is, you'd better do something about her. <laughs> right away, Dina. So then, could we have Cindy for dinner tonight? There's no comma in there. We're eating Cindy. Cindy's dinner. Hmm, I don't see why not. Less leftovers. This is wicked! I haven't had food this good in ages! Hmm. Well, they say there's no food like free food. You a runaway or something? No, oh, well, how do I put this? City works part time for a living, so sometimes it can be a little hard to make ends meet. There, there, don't cry. Sounds rough. Look, it's late, so why not stay the night? But I couldn't. Don't sweat it, it's a rickety old dorm, not some fancy hotel. Rickety? You saying I don't do my job? Anyway, just stay, okay? If you say so, thanks. Just taking in all the sketchy girls. Too bad there's only one bed and three girls. Uh, there, There isn't another bed in this Miley and Harriet's room. Maybe it's because it's cut off by, like, they, they just, you know, didn't draw it in because it would make the room look weird, but I'm going to think, I'm going to think Miley and Harriet share the bed. It's the only reasonable explanation. Dina's cool. I bet she never told you she was in a gang back in the day. Really? No, but it doesn't surprise me. You sure have your ear to the ground. I only kind of know what that idiom means. So I'd heard you moved into a dorm, but I never meant to make my first visit this way. It's been a while, huh? You seem good spirits, so that's good. Is that supposed to be a joke? You haven't changed a bit, you know. Well, you seem to have gained a few gray hairs since I saw you last. It's dyed white, Miley. Wow, and that's some major bedhead. Making friends by being super judgmental, the Miley way. She should write a book about it. Hey, hands off! You should look in the mirror sometime. This is not bedhead. Just goes to show you can't teach someone good fashion sense. I am clueless when it comes to fashion. So true, if you think that's fashionable, there's no help for you. Mmm. Aww. This one's more reasonable, because they're actually friends by being rivals with another, one another. Now, now! You guys seem like really good friends. You sure know a lot of people, Miley. A suspicious amount of people, Miley. She may be bad, but she's kinda rad. What's with the rapping? You two haven't met before? I've known Cindy since we were kids. But I haven't seen her in a while because I've missed a bit of school. A bit? You've all but dropped out. But it's not too late to make amends. Give up on your rock band and join our comedy band! Eh, eh, eh. Yeah. Hey, hey, are you trying to recruit me? Well, it isn't gonna work. That's what people say when it's gonna work. I've always thought you were funny, Cindy. And with your new look, you'd be perfect for comedy. Oh, blow it out your ear. Rock and roll's my life, girl. 
but it's so noisy and headache inducing. With that attitude, you'll make every rocker an enemy for life. That depends. What does rock mean to you? Oh, we're getting into... These are the critical questions. This is why I'm here. What does rock mean to you? Huh? Well, it's, it's about heart and soul and spirit. The pounding of drums, the bass thumping, the wailing of guitars. <laughs> well... Comedy band, band isn't that uh, different. Started back in the 1920s, peaking in the 60s. That doesn't stop it from being relevant today. Weird Al Yankovic is a prime example. No, it's not. Might have a little bit geeky there. You, since I saw you last, you've taken annoying to a whole new level. Heh <laughs> it's my M.O. So what are we going to do about sleeping arrangements? I'm thinking heads on opposite ends, and then we'll just, yeah, as long as you don't mind foot smell. Oh, question answered. They do only have two beds. I'm fine. I'll sleep on the floor. I'm punk. Now, hold on. I've got an idea. Pillow fort. What? Her? Stay in my room with me? Please, you're the only one with a spare bed. But my, she's really scary. She might look like a mad dog, but inside she's really nice. I don't know. Just keep your distance, maintain eye contact, and don't show her you're afraid. T treat her like a mad dog? Ha <laughs> ha, an animal lover like you should be fine. You'll put up a good fight. Not inspiring. I can hear you, you know. Now we have a... Is that four or five? I think that's number four. Fourth victim. All right. So we've got some newfound pals. Pals, we're making progress with May. And we've got two people. Those were the two people on the title screen that we have not met yet. Okay, let's try it this whole calling a friend business again. Come on, May. We can do this. Then we'll spend these next couple days. We're on Friday now. I guess this goes until March 31st, I think. Maybe? If so, we have our work cut out for us. Alright, me and May are cool, we can talk at nights. But we need to get in good with... Uh, Sarah. And to do that, we're gonna need some, some more magazines. Art or fashion? Let's do... There we go. So we've got a rock magazine, we have an art magazine. That can help us a little bit with two of our people. Still gotta get dude bro in all of his silent pants to figure something out. Hmm, could chit chat with Tyler too. Yeah, let's uh... Oh, I bet Tyler would be super into history. I don't remember if I have history in my repertoire, though. Come on. Nope. 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 No history. No art. Could do... I'm not sure. Eh, let's just go for it. Oopsies. Went back into repertoire on accident. Let's try talking about whodunits. No, no, an abysmal failure. Don't even know why I tried that. Should have just went for, even though I don't have any skill in it, probably should have just went for, uh, probably should have actually spent the time researching stuff. Uh, or trying to gain stats in anything else. Okay, this is where everyone's at in Cherry Hill Park. Uh, 
That guy's a total loser. Could go to the cafe. I actually haven't been there. No weird cutscenes getting in the way. Do not have the money for tea. We could read a random magazine. Yeah, let's let's read a guide. Town history and new developments planned by the Capital Group. Okay. That's something we definitely need is history. Got a little bit overwhelmed there with all the options. And so I was just like, let's just grab the first thing that pops out at us. And let's also not watch TV, let's read a mag. Okay. I accidentally bought two of those pets' lives, and that's not something I need. Okay, music is good. Hopefully, I can get that up to level two and impress Rocker Lady. Yes, all right, six bottles. Come on, music. There we go, all right. At least it wasn't awkward this time. Hey, we've earned ourselves a cutscene. How's it going, how's it moving in? Um, not quite, I, I can tell this is a nice place. Well, the capital group is always going on about the quality of life here. Is there anything you wanted to see? You have a living cherry town tree town guidebook right here at your service. I am a cherry tree town guidebook, is what she meant. Um, well, let's see. I've been to all the tourist spots, but I hear there's a shrine and castle as well as a cemetery. Sure, we have those, but wouldn't you rather see something a little more lively? I, well, I, I like quiet places. They help me relax. I guess you could say that I'm a little strange that way. Just a nut and a bucket of bolts. Just joking. Just joking. It's cool that you like quiet places, but it's a bit late for today, and a Sunday visit would be the best. Oh yeah, so we could do that tomorrow. For today, I'll take you to a reputable establishment that I frequently patronize. There's a place for your regular customer? Everywhere. I have been everywhere. Well, this is the place. Say, want to get a crunchsicle? Isn't it a little bit cold for popsicles? Nah, when you love them as much as I do, it's never too cold. And then she just, like, shoves popsicles down Sarah's throat. You will enjoy this! Okay, then I'll join you. Miley's pretty forceful. They're so crunchy. We are friends because we crunch together. So I was thinking you must be pretty brave to transfer schools just like that. Especially since you don't like traveling for whatever reason. Not many people could do that, you know. It really wasn't anything. I never thought of it as scary. I was just thinking that I really needed a change of scenery, and I focused on that. I see. I used to play piano and cello when I was younger. I even studied subjects like complex mathematics. Yes. But no matter what I did, I always started doubting myself, so I'd just give up halfway. I wanted to get away from all that. And find out what you really want to do? Yeah. Hey, nothing wrong with that. Besides, it's spring. Season of renewal and all. Just go with the flow of the season. Maybe you're right. You seem like someone with a lot of stuff you want to do, Miley. And no idea how to do it. Not the most responsible individual. You can tell from the animated way you live. I live in anime. Live it. I just wanted to make those around me laugh. That's what makes me happy. Except you haven't told a single joke this whole game. Aw, Sarah looks up to me. Oh! Give me your digits, girl. I'm gonna call you late at night, even though we live right across the way from each other. Got numbers. Ah! I have to go walk my dog. 
Later, Sarah. Oh, she even said later. Miley waves to Sarah, returning to the dorm. That was a good morning. Got good stuff done. Okay, Queen of Comedy. Yeah, they always say the same thing. Gotta be some way to change it. Port Garden Grand Opening, still the only event on the noteboard. Hmm. Still nothing? Still nothing. He spends like every afternoon at Prosperity Shrine. Sup? I, I don't need money. I can just... I'll never eat. Got this thing I want to talk to you about. Talking about music. Yes. My first in. And we only need three, so we could do Sarah, and we could do... Um, I'm blanking on her name. And we could do Punk Girl. Uh, a uh, May, not Amy. Could do May. Got six bottles, so that's cool. How's your day, Harriet? Would you like to go cycling, Miley? It's fun and healthy. I wheelie love to cycle. Get it? Wheelie love to cycle? No, Miley. Nobody gets it. You're the only one who's ever ridden a bicycle. Um, ba -da -ba -da -bump -bump -bump. let's... Artist? We've got a bunch of people, a bunch of victims who would love to talk about art, I believe. At least punk rocker. Maybe Amy? Maybe May? 